And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon QSO VLAC Network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net, should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLAC network is all about, trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the loudest, best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLAC network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today we're currently featuring over 2,500 QSO VLAC air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a new series called KC9VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word Highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9VKV Logbook and KC9VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have the actual audio masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLAC network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hotspot through the Carolinas. And although the conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today, we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA 5 to be understood by all. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. 
as we go through a very conflicting time in America's history with dark clouds all around, we pray that you'll reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLAC Network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, uh, very clear. Uh, you're running a 6 to a 9 direct, as I don't have the capability uh, of an SDR uh, receiving. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, we're copying you very well. Uh, right now it's sunny. Fifteen minutes ago we had a light shower. And uh, it's good to hear you on. I had a wonderful contact with Captain Mike, and uh, he had to fly a little bit higher than usual uh, today. Very, very uh, rough conditions as he traveled from Sacramento, California, to uh, uh, to Philadelphia. So I do have him at 39,000 feet uh, with a temperature at uh, minus 61 degrees Celsius or about uh, uh, 70 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Uh, if you're copying okay, I assume through a Milford pencil, Northeast Pennsylvania. I'll uh, play it back on this uh, 12th of May uh, 2023. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, Charlie, copy you A-OK, -okay, about uh, 15 to 20 over on Milford, Roger. OK, about uh, 15 to 20 over on Milford, Roger. OK, thank you very much. And here's Captain Mike recorded this morning. Miles uh, northwest of uh of Rockford, Illinois. Good copy on you there. We're kind of on the tops here, believe it or not, at 39,000, believe it, believe it or not. Uh, pretty uh, high, high altitude layer here. But uh, I'm picking you up. I got a little bit of static on the uh, on the radio because of the, uh, the, the clouds here. But uh, overall, you're 5'9 you're plus here. Uh, K1, we are into uh, uh, Wisconsin here as we're headed out uh, over the lake here shortly. But uh, Yep, I'm showing 043 at 1,202 miles. 1202, 1202. Uh, 043 at 1203 now from uh, Phoenix. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm hearing everybody in the group here. I guess uh, maybe uh, you're not hearing uh, Craig here, but uh, uh, Charlie, uh, he's uh, he's coming in about a 57 here, 57. Uh, WA3 ZDI KX4 Whiskey, Charlie. LCH4 Whiskey Charlie. That's from Charlie. Right now we're showing uh, about 40 miles uh, northwest of Chicago, uh, 25 miles west of the uh, the lake shore, and it's going to put us over. Uh, it does, looks like uh, South Haven, South Haven, on the other side there, a little bit north of uh, Benton Harbor, uh, Michigan there. So uh, anyway, we're at uh, 39,000 at the moment. Uh, temperature up here is a, a cool minus 60. And we're showing about uh, 660 miles from uh, Philadelphia. And uh, still showing about uh, uh, 140, 140. Uh, we're a little uh, on the heavy side for that. But um, anyway, I, I didn't, if there was a question there, I didn't hear it. Uh, it was on frequency. Uh, south side of it. And uh, uh, we'll be looking for you there on, on 40. Uh, not much else to report there. I guess you won't be on with the group tonight. So uh, if I don't hear you, uh, well, I should hear you tomorrow at 6, but uh, if I don't, uh, I'll try to pick you up uh, on Sunday from, uh, from the home QTH. I should be arriving around 6.30 uh, on Sunday back home. So uh, nothing more to report here. Uh, K1 GZL, KX4 Whiskey Charlie. Okay. Uh, K1 G said LK Explore Whiskey Charlie over Lake Michigan at 39,000. And uh, showing about a 36 knot tailwind right now, Charlie. We're about uh, doing about 500 uh, knots across the ground. And temperature at the moment here is uh, minus 61. Uh, K1 G said LK Explore Whiskey Charlie. 
groove in here, so uh, we'll see how, how much it holds up there. So uh, anyway, we'll have a good uh, afternoon there, Charlie, and we'll be uh, the same for you here in, uh, on the ground in that building. So uh, 73 to you guys, uh, AX4 Whiskey Charlie Air Mobile, we're uh, clear and QRT. Now he's on the... Back, Charlie, you're you're about a five five fifty five at the moment, and I thought we were a little late here. Had a little bit of traffic coming into Philly this uh, this afternoon, but uh, good copy on your Q five K one T's at L K four with Charlie. Uh, K one T's at L K four with Charlie. Uh, good afternoon, Charlie. You're you're five four fifty four in Philadelphia. We're here uh, on forty meters upper side band. Good copy on you there. And uh, so we're a little late today. We have a bit of traffic coming in too. Uh, okay, and that was uh, Mike on the tarmac. I know that was a little bit too lengthy, uh, Jim. I hope you copied that. Uh, okay, uh, KC9 VKB K1 GZL putting up no more than 40 watts. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, those 40 watts were well placed. Uh, didn't miss a word. Everything was uh, like uh, 15 over. Roger, Roger. Everything was. Uh like uh, 15 over, Roger, Roger. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very, very much. Okay, let me sign with you. Uh, let me sign with you. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, uh, might have more information about getting uh, an amplifier up here, but I may have to wait until uh, July before it actually comes to uh, fruition. Uh, but we'll we'll see. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see. So I'll say seven three. And uh, it's always a pleasure, always a pleasure, and keep up the good work that uh, that you're uh, doing. Uh, KC9 VKB, K1 GZL, uh, it's been wonderful. Roger, Roger, Charlie, 73 of that way, and uh, stay uh, stay cool or stay warm, whatever your preference is. May the, may the weather be that way. <laughs> and we'll see you next Friday. Uh, just a reminder, this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. My name is Jim. And I'm uh, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV, and we're running now uh, live till 5 recording. So if you have uh, a radio you want to check out, uh, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And that'll take you to our YouTube QSO VLOG page, where we're currently featuring over 20. 2,500 uh, QSO VLAG check recordings. This recording will be cut number one in that series, regardless of what YouTube says. So, let's open it up now. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. There was a Mike Papa something there, I believe. There was a Mike Papa something there, I believe. Yes, good evening. This is November 9, Tango Mike Papa. November 9, Tango Mike Papa. November 9, uh, Tango Mike Papa. Roger, what's the name there? Tango Mike Papa. Roger, what's the name there? Yes, good evening. A lot of noise over here. I can, you know, you make it in the, in the noise, but I got you a 57, 57 over here in Indianapolis. Roger, Roger in Indiana, and what's the name there? Roger, Roger in Indiana, and what's the name there? The name is Rafael, Rafael or Ralph, Romeo Alpha Lima Papa Hotel. Is that Ralph? Is that Ralph? Yeah, that's a Ralph, uh, Ralph, uh, Ralph, uh, Ralph uh, and uh, location is Indianapolis. This is the Reverend 9, Tango Mike Papa. What, uh, Tango Mike Papa, what uh, radio are you running today, Ralph? Tango Mike Papa, what uh, radio are you running today, Ralph? Hi, Ralph, this is uh, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Net. Uh, what radio are you running today, Ralph? Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Net. Uh, what radio are you running today, Ralph? I, there's a lot of noise. I did call. Uh, I did copy that last. I'm using a J2 the 991A, 
Roger, Roger, Ralph. Well, we have uh, notes on setup for that uh, radio of yours. Uh, starts by setting your processor on at uh, 30. Processor on at a 30. It's a token amount, something you'll never really hear on the air, but it helps us uh, with our end product of a 3 dB dynamic range uh, audio system sound. Roger? Dynamic range uh, audio system sound. Roger? Okay, well, I, I did copy most of that, but yeah, I pretty, really appreciate it for this. So I'll say 7-3 for now. Uh, hope to catch you next time. This is November 9, Tango, my papa. Roger, Ralph, I uh, understand, sir. Well, give us a shout if uh, things uh, clear up. I'm getting a little bit of that lightning storm myself uh, to the point that uh, my... Uh, AGC will suck down to uh, to nothing on these on these strikes. They're pretty close. So, uh, I don't know what you mean, but uh, things lighten up and you get a better copy. Uh, give me a shout back, and we'll get you uh, uh, set up on the transmitter on on your radio. Uh, Seventy three for now, Ralph. This is the Friday afternoon QSO V Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. This is KC9, DKV, the Friday afternoon, QSO Vlognet. And uh, now, uh, time for another thrilling edition of Adventures in Radio Land. This segment, Thinking Outside the Box. From time to time, I mention the fact that the actual heart of one's radio shack is the audio monitoring system. It is the incoming half of your QSO contest. It makes possible the voice of your friends or your contacts around the world. It is that critical necessity for making two-way communications possible. And let's face it, audio reality does not reside within a three-inch speaker inside a very small box that is your transceiver. There's just not enough cubes. This is the major downfall of all of your transceivers. It is the number one major shortcut filter, if you will, of your HF radio. You can't really talk about EQ curves or audio balance until you have an audio system that can truly reproduce the range of audio that's involved. So you need to think outside the small box. And the box I'm talking about is your transceiver. Get your audio out of that box and plug into reality. Plug into your radio speaker out with a nice full-range house monitor system. With a nice uh, full-range house monitor system because you deserve to hear what's really going on. And I don't mean a pair of uh, uh, $15 computer speakers, which I guess would be better than your uh, radio's speaker, but uh, you know, for under uh, 50 bucks at Walmart, you can get a nice full range Logitech speaker system, uh, and you need to check that out. Uh, uh, it has a subwoofer, and you don't need a Bose, but you do need to get something that will reproduce the bottom end correctly down to at least 100 cycles or so. Speaker systems with subwoofers can easily do that, and for under 60 bucks or so, you can. Well, if you can spend a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks or three thousand bucks for a really great radio, you deserve to get the most out of it. And since I've been evaluating radios for very closely a long time on the QSOV like network, I've noticed that more and more uh, radios with much flatter and fatter audio curves on my spectrum analyzer. Uh, transmit audio curves that go down to 100 cycles or so. But a word of caution, if your transmit audio content does go down to 100 cycles, you uh, must make sure that the rest of your audio curve, particularly the upper end, has plenty of content for balance. Otherwise, you'll sound uh, muddy. So step up uh, to uh, your monitoring system. Get a good one, drop by Walmart, and pick up the one of those uh, Logitech uh, $60 subwoofer speaker systems, you won't believe what a difference it makes to be able to hear what uh, really is going on. And for under 60 bucks, 
the price is right. And I'm not being paid by Walmart or anybody. You can go, you know, anywhere Walmart just happens to have a pretty good price on a uh, speaker system with a subwoofer, which you really need to get down to those those lower frequencies that uh, our radios are capable of. You know, uh, uh, ICOM is uh, doing uh, great wonders and uh, you know, we're talking about getting down to uh, 100 cycles uh, or so on transmit. Uh, so you need a system that you can hear what's actually being said. So this is the Friday afternoon QSO v Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you like that, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. W-A-A-O-P-R. W8 uh, station, uh, come back with your call sign slowly, phonetically. OPR. Station, uh, come back with your call sign slowly, phonetically. I'm sorry, OPR, uh, come back with your call sign uh, one more time slowly, phonetically. I'm sorry, OPR, uh, come back with your call sign uh, one more time slowly, phonetically. Whiskey America 8, Ontario Pacific Chrome. W A 8 OPR. Over, over. Roger, Roger, OPR, and what's the name there? Roger, Roger, OPR, and what's the name there? Uh, Terry, Terry. Uh, is it Jim on your end, over? Yes, sir, Terry, and uh, you're, you're located where? Yes, sir, Terry, and uh, you're, you're located where? Uh, I'm sorry, I've, I've got a new radio here. I wanted to see how it's doing. It's just uh, Farmington, Michigan. Near Detroit. Uh, KC9 VKV, over. Roger, Terry. And what radio is that that you have? Roger, Terry. And what radio is that that you have? Oh, it's an old 20-plus uh, year TS450 Kenwood. And um, running a homebrew brick amp about a 300 watt to a long wire antenna. Back to you, Jim. Yes, sir. I could use a little more top end, but uh, you probably don't have an onboard EQ system on that radio, Roger, or do you? probably don't have an onboard EQ system on that radio, Roger, or do you? That's correct. It's fixed. There's really no adjustments on it. Back to you. All right, so we'll play that old uh, game of proximity effect. Uh, pull back off mic about two inches further back than where you, where you are at the moment, Roger. About two inches further back than where you where you are at the moment, Roger. Got you there. Okay, we're backed off about uh, two inches. Uh, by the way, you're uh, five by nine plus about ten here. Back to you, Jim. Roger. Okay, that uh, that took a lot of the bottom end away. Uh, not a bunch, but uh, some, so it's better there than, than where you were. Uh, uh, as far as, uh, you know, we wanted a little brighter signal uh, and pulling off mic, uh, the bass kind of falls away and that, that's the best way to do it. Now, you might check your uh, ALC now at that new uh, mic position for that radio. You know, uh, it's, uh, go to your ALC meter with mic gain in hand and say the magic word audio, stretch out the front, adjust your mic gain until you're uh, reading uh, two-thirds on your ALC meter, Roger. You're uh, reading uh, two-thirds on your ALC meter, Roger. I got gotcha. you. Okay, hold on. I'm going to increase the gain a little bit. There we go. Audio, audio. Over, over. Roger. Might be just a little too fat now. Uh, uh, what is your current mic reading? It might be just a little too fat now. Uh, what is your current mic reading? I was just uh, cresting, uh, well, actually, it's a little bit over. I better back it down. So, I, th I think that's, a, that's about right. A full ALC. Um, there's just not much adjustment on this uh, little piece of equipment. Thank you, Tim. Ah, yes, yeah, so that sounds, that sounds better. It's not uh, breaking up... Uh, or uh, you know, um, distorting now on the on the peak. So it sounds sounds good. There. I wish we could obviously get more uh, top end. Uh, I still suggest you need a a little outboard gizmo uh, that uh, you can uh, run your mic in to that and uh, have a little onboard EQ, a little compression there, and you can take any old radio and uh, 
pull it right up to uh, today's uh, today's sound by this outboard thing, you know. And there's a, a million of them. Uh, you know, you just need to pick the best one. I, I don't know where, which one it is sort of offhand, you know, but I'm just saying that uh, without outboard gear, you can take any radio, uh, any old radio, and bring it right up to today's uh, sound. Roger. Any old radio and bring it right up to today's uh, sound. Roger. You bet. Uh, well, let me try a little processing. Maybe that'll help. Two, 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 two. All right, we're running processing. Uh, that may be uh, worse than it was before. Back to you. All right, uh, how's that processor labeled? Uh, is it uh, slow go or, or maximum or uh, zero to 10 or zero to 100? Uh, we want it on a three or 30, Roger. Uh, we want it on a 3 or 30, Roger. I'm sorry about that. It's on or off. That, that's all she gives me. The only thing I can do is uh, adjust the uh, ALC max. Over. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well... Gosh, uh, it's it's sounding really good. You know, I'm I'm nitpicking there. Uh, you know, that's uh, uh, a nice radio, and it's going to sound you know the way for that that time period. You know, it sounds sounds pretty good. And when you're working a little bit further off mic, uh, it's not quite so uh, so bassy, and uh, it uh, apparently has a little more top in, which is good. And uh, I would I would just take the uh, uh, the compressor uh, out of the circuit. I don't think you probably need that, Roger. Uh, out of the circuit. I don't think you probably need that, Roger. Oh, I agree with you completely. Uh, I never, I never run processing. But uh, well, thanks for those uh, reports. Uh, at least it's intelligible, <laughs> I guess. But uh, thanks for helping me out here, Jim. Uh, can you tell me if I'm uh, okay on signal strength? We're running an experimental antenna today. The KC9 VKV, over, over. All right, I tell you, I've been copying you on uh, Pennsylvania SDR. Uh, why don't you uh, tell me about your antenna system, and I'll, I'll go through some of the different uh, receiver locations, including my local antenna, Roger. Give me about, uh, about 15 seconds of uh, talk there, Roger. Sure, say about... Uh about 15 seconds of uh, talk there, Roger. Oh, okay, Jim. And said, uh, it's up 30 feet, and then it shoots straight up into the top of a tree about 40 feet length of it. And uh, it predominantly uh, favors east-west. And we got counterpoise and a bunch of ground rods. So it's uh, it works very, very well on the higher band. It works, I guess, okay on 40 meters. Uh, back to you, Jim. Roger, I run around the horn. The best I was on the best uh, SDR. That's the uh, Pennsylvania SDR, and uh, you sound you sound good. And uh, uh, you know, um, now I guess that uh, on that SDR you're about. Uh, about 15 over, Roger. 15 to 20 over. It sounds really good. Uh, about 15 over, Roger. 15 to 20 over. It sounds really good. Well, thank you, Jim. I dearly appreciate that. Uh, same report for you. Um, well, I'm glad you have this service for uh, for us guys, and uh, really makes it nice. Um, okay, Jim. I'm sure they're lined up to talk to you, so I'll uh, I'll keep it short. KC9ZKZWA8OPR. Roger, Roger, Jay. Well, I never know uh, when I'm going fishing. <laughs> if things get light and uh, not much work, then I say, okay, we got to go. Hasta la vista. Adios, muchachos. And I go fishing. So. Uh, uh, thanks for dropping by, Terry. And uh, if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do the call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. 73, Jim. There is a Kilo Charlie 3 back in there somewhere. 
let me see. I uh, wanted to you tell me about your antenna system for about 10 seconds there, uh, KC3 station, and let me see if I can find a better path for us. KC3 station, and let me see if I can find a better path for us. Okay, uh, KC3 station, I've got you a little bit better on uh, Georgia SDR, so uh, why don't you come back one more time slowly, phonetically with your call sign? Uh, why don't you come back one more time slowly, phonetically with your call sign? Hello, Charlie 3, Tango November Uniform. TNU, Roger, Roger, and uh, what's the name there? TNU, Roger, Roger, and uh, what's the name there? My name is Lima, Lima Echo Victor India. So, Levi? So, Levi? Correct. Yay, yay. <laughs> All right, Levi, and uh, what radio are you running today, sir? <laughs> All right, Levi, and uh, what radio are you running today, sir? I am running an ICOM 718. Up to a 10 through 80 meter and fed halfway. Alrighty, and uh, uh, Levi, what's uh, your location? Where are you, sir? Uh, uh, Levi, what's uh, your location? Where are you, sir? I am in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Roger, I should have a good copy on my Pennsylvania SDR, but not necessarily so. Anyway, if you'd be interested in our setup, uh, is that a, an older radio or newer radio? Interested in our setup, uh, is that a, an older radio or newer radio? Uh, I bought it used. I would say, I don't know, it's probably at least 10, 15 years old. Already? Uh, let's... Uh yeah, I'm assuming it has a fixed uh, transmit band width, so we'll do away with that and then just move on to the uh, setup directly. Uh, it, does it have a compressor, and uh, can you put it on and uh, go for a three on it? Uh, compressor and compression on and add a three, Roger. Three on it, uh, compressor and compression on and add a three, Roger. I do have the compressor on. I, I have it on right now. Yes, sir. Can you put it on a three? Yes, sir. Can you put it on a three? I don't think it's adjustable. It's either on or off, to my knowledge. All right. Yeah, just uh, do me a favor and uh, key up for about three seconds. Don't say anything. Just let me l uh, listen to it, Roger. Three seconds. Don't say anything. Just let me l uh, listen to it, Roger. Alrighty, that's not too bad. That's good. Okay, so uh, leave the compression on. Let's go to uh, your ALC meter with mic gain in hand. Does it? I'm sure it's got an ALC meter, and it's got a mic gain. And uh, as you say the magic word, audio, you become a human test generator. And uh, we want you to uh, set your uh, mic gain at uh, whatever level it takes to reach uh, two-thirds reading on your AOC meter. Roger. Takes to reach uh, two-thirds reading on your AOC meter. Roger. Roger that. Two uh, four Yankee Oscar uh, uniform. Audio. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Levi, uh, that's uh, two thirds on the meter. Did you did you make it? Do you need to go again, or, or uh, you got it, or what? Meter, did you did you make it? Do you need to go again, or, or uh, you got it, or what? Yeah, that should have been about two thirds. Uh, let me try it again. Audio. Uh, two thirds on the on the ALC meter will give you uh, a, a three dB dynamic range, and that's what we're looking for, Roger. 3 dB dynamic range, and that's what we're looking for. Roger. Roger that. I, I have put my mic gain back down to about 30 now, and it's about two-thirds. Uh, audio. All right, uh, just as a, uh, 
as a test. Uh, bring your mic gain up to about uh, 50, about up to 5, and uh, or 50, however it's labeled about midway, and uh, do that audio test again and uh, uh, watch your meter and see where it goes. Roger. Test again and uh, uh, watch your meter and see where it goes. Roger. About about 50 now. Uh, audio, and I'm just about 100 percent on the meter. Okay, so backward down to 40, and uh, try that same thing, and uh, we're looking for two-thirds, Roger. And uh, try that same thing, and uh, we're looking for two-thirds, Roger. There's 40 right now. Uh, audio. And we're at about 70%. Great. Okay, so that would be your mic level. Now, does that radio have uh, any onboard EQ gear, or an EQ page, or any equalization capabilities? Q page or any equalization capabilities? Negative. Alrighty. So uh, why don't you tell me about your antenna system uh, for about uh, 15 seconds and let me listen to your audio now. Uh, for about 15 seconds and let me listen to your audio now. My antenna is a Nelson antenna uh, from eBay. It's a a 10 through 80 meter end fed half weight, 49 to 1, um, on on at the end, and um, I have it hooked to a MFJ Versa tuner, but I'm currently just in direct. It doesn't need tune. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, what kind of mic is that? Is that a hand mic? Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, what kind of mic is that? Is that a hand mic? It's a factory ICOM HM36 hand mic. Yes, sir. Best way to work that mic is pull it to the corner of your lips and talk across it. Actually, touch the corner of your lips and uh, talk across it, Roger. Actually, touch the corner of your lips and uh, talk across it, Roger. Roger, Roger, just like that. Yes, sir. And uh, tell me the best thing you like about your radio now uh, with uh, utilizing the mic uh, that way. Radio now. Uh, uh, utilizing the mic uh, that way. Uh, it's a very simple, straightforward radio. There's not much to it, not much menus, just uh, pretty cut and dry. Yes, sir. I would run it just like that, bud. I think that's the best way, best sound. If you'd like to hear it, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording, and it'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500 QSOV log air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Log air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Roger that. Thank you very much. Roger, Roger. 73, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And there was another station in there. Other station, if you're there still, uh, give me a shout. Other station, if you're there still, uh, give me a shout. I think there was uh, any in YAU, YAU, are you still there? There was uh, any in YAU, YAU, are you still there? No contact. This is the Friday afternoon, QSO Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. KG3HJ, Kilo Echo 3, Hotel Juliet. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, gosh, uh, what uh, radio are you running today? What's the name there? Well, gosh, uh, what uh, radio are you running today? What's the name there? Yeah, Roger, Jim. Name here is Dave, Delta Alpha, Victor Echo. And you've helped me before, and I appreciate that. Uh, don't, uh, I don't think I need any more help today. Uh, I think uh, everything's uh, working the way it was. But I just wanted to thank you for your patience and your effort. Uh, very, uh, very uh, nice contribution to uh, Ham Radio, and uh, I do appreciate your efforts, uh, Jim. Back to you, uh, KC9 VKV KT3 HJ. Roger, Roger, Dave. Looking at your audio, it's just, just perfect. I, I guess I did set. Did I set that one up? It's just, just perfect. I, I guess I did set. Did I set that one up? 
Yes, sir. You helped me a few weeks ago, uh, Jim. Uh, thanks very much. Over. Yes, sir. Just uh, beautiful audio. Uh, just way it hangs up there. 3 dB dynamic range. There's nothing that beats a 3 dB dynamic range transmission because the audio is just uh, so fat. But then again, on the other hand, it's so clear, Roger. Fat. But then again, on the other hand, it's so clear, Roger. Yeah, Roger, and this is uh, this is a very simple station, ICOM 7300, 7300 barefoot, gap, shallow, vertical, and uh, D104, D104, with an FET preamp and an external equalizer, external equalizer, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. And uh, so, uh, Dave, where where are you uh, at the moment? Uh, what's your location at the moment? Where, where are you uh, at the moment? Uh, what's your location at the moment? No, oh, Roger, Jim. T T T H is uh, near Pittsburgh, near Pittsburgh, PA, uh, just a few miles north. Over. Roger, Roger. And uh, gosh, I. Uh, Really appreciate uh, checking in there, uh, saying hello. Uh, it's sounding great. And, uh, you know, uh, what do you think about that 7300 offhand? Great. And, uh, you know, uh, what do you think about that 7300 offhand? Well, to tell you the truth, uh, I wanted uh, a general purpose rig that was decent, uh, very decent, uh, not too big, uh, pretty, uh, pretty much uh, self-contained so that I could uh, use it in the RV if necessary, or an apartment if necessary, or at home, whatever. Uh, it's a versatile rig. It might not be the absolute best for everything, but it's sure darn, darn good for uh, most things. So I'm very happy with the rig. I've had it about four years. Jim, back to you. Roger, Roger. Now, are you using a, a power supply for that, or are you using a battery and a and a charger kind of thing? For that, are you using a battery and a and a charger kind of thing? No, it's hooked up to a power supply. Uh, it's hooked up to an Astron switcher that I bought about 30 years ago, uh, and and the switcher has uh, not really been off for most of that time. So I've had. Uh, it's a it's a 25 amp switcher. Uh, I I probably should have a 30, but uh, I don't seem to uh, run into much difficulty with it. Uh, so uh, I do have a battery and a solar panel, but I don't have all that uh, all that together right now. So it's uh, running on an AC supply. Jim, back to you. Roger, Roger, Dave. Now I would uh, get a schematic for that uh, that re that power supply. And go ahead and get some filter caps, uh, replacement filter caps, uh, and keep them on standby because, uh, you know, I know what the deal is. If you uh, haven't turned it off uh, very much over a period of time, <laughs> it could be after that many years, uh, not much left of those filter caps uh, as far as uh, uh, transition from off to on. And uh, so you might want to, I don't know uh, if you're versed in electronics, but uh, to have have the parts on hand to be able to uh, to rebuild the uh, the capacitor aspects of that. Uh, that's usually what happens if filter caps uh, uh, die over a period of time, Roger. What happens if filter caps uh, uh, die over a period of time, Roger? Yeah, Roger, Jim. Good advice. Good advice. Uh, that uh, that's probably uh, something I should do. I did have uh, I had the filter caps in my amplifier go. And uh, that's a long story. I won't bore you with it. Uh, the amplifier is still broken uh, because of a, uh, a tube arc. Uh, so uh, anyhow, uh, I, I, uh, I should get some uh, replacement parts, although a whole replacement supply wouldn't cost me more than maybe 100, 150 bucks, something like that, if needs be. So uh, whatever, uh, <laughs> you, you try to keep this stuff working. The other rig that I've got, which is not on the air right now, is a 10-tech Omni 5. Good old Omni 5 from about 30 years ago. And it's got a couple of issues, uh, which I'm dealing with, and uh, it's almost ready, almost ready to go back on the air. But I'm using this uh, external uh, UR6QW equalizer, 
uh, it does the equalization and the compression. And I got that so that when I uh, hooked up the Omni 5, I could have the same benefits uh, there with uh, equalization and compression that I do with the 7300. Because, uh, as you know, 30 years ago there wasn't any uh, tone adjust, and uh, the compression in the Omni 5 is uh, not very good. So I got that uh, so I could switch around if I wanted to. Uh, back to you, Jim. Roger, Roger, Dave. That's a real smart idea. Then you can take any radio from any year and make it sound like, uh, you know, tomorrow. Roger? From any year and make it sound like, uh, you know, tomorrow. Roger? Yep, that's the idea. And I, uh, I really like the way this uh, D104 works. Uh, I put the FET impedance transformer in it so that it gives a good load on the, uh, on the crystal cartridge, uh, 10 mega ohm load. Now, right now, I'm running the uh, UR6 box in the DX setting, the DX setting, which actually uh, turns on the limiter and uh, reduces the uh, output below 300 hertz, which I don't use unless the conditions are bad like they are right now. Normally, I run it all the way down to 100 hertz, uh, which is my transmit bandwidth. But, uh, you know, when conditions are bad, you got to squeeze out what you can. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this uh, this will work for me. And uh, like I say, I can plug this into my uh, to my ten tech or whatever. So uh, it works for me, Jim. Uh, back to you. Roger, well, it sounds really, really good there. And, uh, you know, I've got uh, a good recording on you, so if you want to hear it, uh, you'll go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by a noon tomorrow, Roger. Logbook, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by a noon tomorrow, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Jim, I appreciate that. And uh, mainly, I just wanted to thank you for your efforts. Uh, very, uh, very well appreciated by uh, by many. Uh, you know, uh, uh, interrupted by some, and uh, forget those. But uh, you really do a good job, and uh, it's uh, it's well appreciated by uh, a lot of people. So uh, thank you very much. And as I say, you've got uh, the patience of Job. Uh, uh, so many people say, I don't know where the ALC meter is, and uh, well, I mean, read the manual learn how to work your radio, uh, well, whatever, I won't get into that, but uh, thank you very much, and I uh, hope you have a, a great day. 73, I'll let you see if there's uh, somebody else to pick up, don't want to hog the time here. Uh, so uh, thanks again, Jim, uh, KB9, VKV, uh, KE3HG. Roger, Roger, Dave, 73 up that way, sir, thanks for dropping by. Uh, uh, good to hear you. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet, and if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. And if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. This will be a time for some of those hundred waters that are having difficulty getting in to uh, give me a shout there. Uh, traffic is light, uh, and you uh, might uh, make the trip uh, uh, with that 100 watts. Uh, you, you know, I do have a philosophy about that, though. Uh, you know, it is if you're running 100 watts transmitting in the eastern part of the United States, you should be uh, S5 to S9 somewhere. I mean, if you're an S1 everywhere, you're not getting out. So you might think about... Uh, uh, doing something better with your antenna system. Uh, I, if I could, I would suggest uh, running a, um, a resonant uh, tuned uh, dipole antenna. Uh, as far as efficiency, uh, they're very, very efficient. Uh, and uh, you might uh, uh, get an AV switch while you're at it and uh, keep your old antenna. And then you can AB back and forth between the, the uh, tuned uh, resonant dipole antenna and your current uh, antenna and uh, yeah, I think you'll notice a difference of hotter 
on the dipole uh, most of the time, 95% of the time, but there are other circumstances at play. So, you know, uh, two antennas are much better than one antenna. I mean, uh, you know, the option, that's the word, options. Uh, so with the AV switch, you can uh, option between those two antennas and one will be hotter than the other usually. Uh, so, uh, you know, you're, you're to the better that way anyway. So this is the Friday afternoon, QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Be like that. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Remember Charlie 4 Zulu. Zulu Station, uh, this is KC9VKV. Come back with your call sign slowly, phonetically. Uh, this is KC9VKV. Come back with your call sign slowly, phonetically. November Charlie 4 Zulu. November Charlie 4 what? November Charlie 4 what? November Charlie 4, Zulu. November Charlie 4, Zulu, Roger, Roger. What's the name? November Charlie 4, Zulu, Roger, Roger. What's the name? My name is Roy in Tennessee. Didn't catch the name. What's the name? Didn't catch the name. What's the name? Uh, Roy, Romeo, Oscar, Yankee. Roger Roy, and what radio are you running today, sir? Roger Roy, and what radio are you running today, sir? Acom 7300 into uh, Acom 1200. All right, if you'd be interested in a set of procedure, it starts with you um, uh, verifying that you're in that 100 to 2900 uh, transmit bandwidth, the TVW uh, 100 to 2900. Are you familiar with that? The TVW. Uh, 100 to 29. How are you familiar with that? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm there already. Already, and compression on then. Onto the compressor, on at uh, 3, Roger. Compression on then. Onto the compressor, on at uh, 3, Roger. All right, then move to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, stretch out the front of that word, become a human test generator, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running two-thirds. Adjust your mic gain until your AOC meter is running two thirds. Uh, EO, yeah, two thirds. Alrighty, then into your EQ page. And uh, we want uh, plus uh, seven treble EQ, plus seven treble EQ, and a flat on the bass for the moment, Roger. Seven treble EQ, and a flat on the bass for the moment, Roger. And minus three. I'm sorry, repeat. I'm sorry, repeat. I'm at minus three on, on the base at plus four on the treble. Okay, come up to a plus seven on the treble. Plus seven on the treble and go to flat on the base, Roger. Plus seven on the treble and go to flat on the base, Roger. Oh, that's right. That's right. Plus five. Okay, uh, why don't you tell me about your antenna system there, uh, Roy, and uh, let me listen to you for a moment. About your antenna system there, uh, Roy, and uh, let me listen to you for a moment. Yeah, I'm running a combined antenna. I have a off-center fed at uh, 30 feet. Yes, sir, I'm copying you off the uh, Georgia SDR, and uh, you're sounding mighty good there. Well, why don't you give me uh, a little more recording, uh, since you're sounding so good. Uh, tell me uh, the best thing you like about your radio. So good. Uh, tell me uh, the best thing you like about your radio. Well, I got an icon set for the spin, and I got interested in because uh, I was hearing so many people with the 7300. I said, well, I'll just get one and see what it's like, and it's almost identical in uh, features and uh, minutes and 76 minutes. It's a nice little radio. I'm glad I got it, and uh, 
Yeah, I'd like the ACOM 1200 uh, so to stay down the road. I'm about done with you. There you go, NC4Z. Roger, Roy, I think you like your recording. We do have a little lightning uh, hits between us, some uh, lightning storm somewhere close by, but uh, you're giving it a good run for the money. So uh, if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will take you uh, to uh, this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500 uh, QSV Lag Air Check Recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Lag Air Check Recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. All right, I'll check it out, and I appreciate the effort. Have fun, 73. Roger, Roger, Roy, 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSV Lag Net. If you have a radio or you want to check out, give me a shout. Lag Net, if you have a radio or you want to check out, give me a shout. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLAG net, running now till 5, uh, and recording all the time, and then um, loading it up onto YouTube so you can hear what your audio sounds like after we do a setup on the transmitter. Uh, a good time for some of those 100 waters to uh, try to make the trip in as they have not been able to and wanted to, uh, and uh, this would be the time. This is KC9 VKV listening. Uh, this would be the time. This is KC9, VKV, this thing. Just out of curiosity, checking the uh, Pennsylvania SDR. Checking the Pennsylvania SDR. Checking the Georgia SDR. Checking the Georgia SDR. This is uh, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. VLOG net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. And with that, I think I'm going fishing. So, uh, 73 all, if you uh, participated, want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do that call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you uh, to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, uh, right at the moment, we'll be returning this frequency back to normal language radio use. This is uh, KC9VKV, clear. This is uh, KC9VKV, clear.